everyone, it's time for us to do a video on the woman with the, I'm not sure how, what her nose is doing. I'm not really sure, but let me give you a little backstory on women like this. And I'm going to show a picture of her face. She's absolutely horrific. It's angry, angersome to women of all status. She thinks she's got status. She's the modern day version of a woman who probably looked pretty good in her prime. And then you, this is like the motivans of why women are angry and furious while men in their early years decide to get engaged and to marry women like this. That is a motivan. You men fall for their shit of their like flirtation, uh, fake intelligence, abuse. It's abuse to all of us around, but she has a special way of acting for you that you will look at her as if she is so intelligent, a strong woman, and so smart. Although I kind of bashed that out of the face of What's her name? That other one. Mona Van. She's like a terrorist. This is the one that goes to a restaurant and is with her rich husband with a big diamond on her ring, on her finger. And because I've waited on people like this before and they're, they used to be tolerable. You used to be able to, we used to be able to tolerate you and you used to be able to pretend like you were empowering and have all these, uh, the view kinds of conversations. However, now you're just vicious and vile and it almost, it causes war. It actually causes wars. That's a mother who's abusive, who, who acts as if her children hung the moon and their children either become the abuser or they're the, the abused. So they're really weak. So it's the alpha type A woman who is a Kamala Harris, although Kamala Harris is not as intense as that one. Although as time progresses, she will become that because that's how you learn it. So if you see the women that are screaming their heads off on the streets at signs of, like you're watching chaos and trauma on the internet because Kamala Harris is the vice president and so is Joe Biden and they're taking the sides of Haitians. So the fact that this woman is taking the side of a Haitian over our own American citizens says everything about what we're dealing with. That's called gaslighting. See, she, behind what she has to say, the only thing that she has in mind is herself. There's nothing wrong with the way that Donald Trump spoke at the debate. There's nothing wrong with the way he fought for his country. And there's been nothing wrong the way that he's defended himself in the media, fake news media, with women like this. So we have now have a case against this woman to show how you have caused voter interference and you've caused an extreme amount of unrest and unease in women across the country because she has a large following. It's horrible. This is absolutely horrible. When I watched, she would probably get joy out of knowing how intense anger I felt when I watched her video. These women get intense joy and happiness. Go be happiness and joyous. Go do you, they say. Watch in your feed what we tell you to watch. And if you don't like it, don't watch it. Only worry about yourself. Mind your own business. Don't care what people think. Live in optimism. Go take a look at the spewage of Mona Van content. Of her bragging that she went to Fashion Week while Gary Vaynerchuk claims to be engaged to that. You don't really think that it just affects me when she posts content, do you?
No, that's the fart stench of Mona Van that exists in the world while he smiles. And that's pretentious. And that's actual gaslighting of what you're doing, dude. So the way that Gary presents his platform is also gaslighting. Each and every one of you at this time are doing nothing more than gaslighting your audiences to fuel your own agenda so that you can hide from the truth of the reality of what you've done to the American people. So the problem is with this particular woman is she's outspoken and she's opinionated in ways that only let her benefit in feeling like she's being heard. Her truth, your truth. The problem is, is that she's got lots of followers and you don't, which means that she has a voice and you don't. Because she has money to pay her way into the front of your faces. While well, she talks like this and is very, very kind in the way she speaks, at least in her mind, and to people just like her. Typical Democrat woman that no one fucking likes. But for some reason they get around in clusters and clans and talk about hair and makeup. She's like the undercover openness of seeing what these women are like when they get together with their fiancés and their husbands at fancy elite parties of New York City. And they actually like it. Gary V loves it. He says he loves the game. You like this shit? So you like hanging out with Mona Van is what you're saying. You like abusing audiences and telling them to live in optimism and talk about the internet and then tell people not to care what people think. But what you're actually doing is you're telling to tell the elite with high volume of followers to not care what people think. And then they abuse all of us and violate our civil rights and then say that it's women's rights and it's, it's their amendment rights and all this other nonsense while they disrespect us. While you go to another fancy party and another fancy fashion show while Mona spreads her legs wide and wears some ridiculous outfits. And we continually uncover more nonsense of corruption and the criminal behavior that Mona Van's willing to participate in because no one's doing anything about the fact that our country is falling to its knees so that The View and Kim Kardashian and Paris Hilton can spread eagle and call that their existence of democracy while they violate other women. And so then we have to figure out a way to retaliate so I guess we're going to scream and yell and wear weird hair and change our gender and do all kinds of weird shit because we have no control of our own lives. You control us, Gary V. I am not going to feel happy and joyous. I am not going to feel light and, and puffy with your weird ass mocktail. Not sure what part of that you don't fucking get. That we don't want to watch you parade yourself around bragging about money in our fucking faces. And that goes for all of you women and all of your husbands. Do you not understand that? That the worst people in history that I've ever seen in my entire existence have been the Democrat rich fucks. I want to let everybody know that I've worked with the Republicans on levels of being a servant. And I've never seen such disgraceful, disgusting fucking behavior of you waving your fucking money in our fucking faces with your fucking bitch wife waving her fucking diamond ring in people's faces. That's your fucking wife and you need to fucking handle it just like you need to handle your fucking children. That means we go family, husband, wife to community, to city, to state. Jail. 
Jail.